In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Tornado Cash. Let's say that you send 100 Ether to another account. Now this account may belong to you or it may belong to someone else. This transaction will be recorded on the blockchain so everyone in the whole row knows that the receiving account just received 100 Ether. Now if this receiving account also belongs to you and someone else knows that this receiving account belongs to you, then that person can conclude that you still have 100 Ether. In the same way, if you send 100 Ether to Bob and Bob's address is known, then everyone in the whole world knows that Bob has 100 Ether now. But using Tornado Cash, we can break this link between the sender and the receiver. From the address of the receiver, it is virtually impossible to link back to the sender. Meaning if I send 100 Ether to myself using Tornado Cash, then no one in the whole world will be able to trace that I just sent 100 Ether to myself. Likewise, if I use Tornado Cash to send 100 Ether to Bob, then you can see that I deposited 100 Ether to Tornado Cash, and you'll also be able to see that 100 Ether was transferred over to Bob, but what you won't be able to see is the link from me to Bob. So let's take a look at how to use Tornado Cash. In this video, I'm going to be using the Gorli testnet. To deposit, there are several options to deposit 0.1 ETH, 1 ETH, 10 ETH, or 100 ETH. I'm going to select 1 ETH and then click Deposit. This will show a pop-up to save a file. This is a secret file that you're going to need in order to withdraw from Tornado Cash. So save this file in a secure place and don't reveal it to anyone else. So I'm going to hit Save. Once the file is saved and I backed up the file, I'm going to click on this checkbox saying that I backed up the secret file and then hit Send Deposit. This will open my MetaMask, so I'm going to hit Confirm and wait for the transaction to be confirmed. Once the transaction is confirmed, the next step is to withdraw. However, you shouldn't withdraw right away. Well, let's imagine that everyone's depositing into Tornado Cash, but over the last month, no one has withdrawn. And all of a sudden, there's a transaction to deposit and then withdraw immediately. Although there's no link between the depositor and the withdrawer, it is very likely that the person who deposited and the person who withdrew are the same person. So to increase anonymity, you probably want to wait a few days after you deposit before you withdraw. Okay, so let's say that the Tornado Cash deposit and withdrawal has been active. You waited a few days and now you want to withdraw. How do you do it? So I'm going to click on the Withdrawal tab. And I'll need to reveal the secret that I've stored and set the recipient address. I've opened a notepad that reveals the secret. So I'm going to copy all of this and then paste it in here. And then for the recipient address, I'm going to pick a different address from the depositor. I've opened the MetaMask and then copy the different address from the current wallet. And then I'm going to paste it in here. And then I'm going to hit withdraw to send the one ether from Tornado Cash over to this address without revealing that this one ether was actually sent from this wallet. Okay, so I'm going to hit withdraw. You'll see a pop-up saying ZK Snark proof has been successfully generated. What this means is that we've created a cryptographic proof that we deposited one ether into Tornado Cash. And this proof does not reveal any information about the depositor. So I'm going to hit confirm to actually send the transaction to withdraw. The transaction was successful. Let's take a look at Etherscan. Inside Etherscan, you can see here that I deposited one Ether into Tornado Cash. This is the sender account, and the last transaction was deposit into Tornado Cash. There's no transaction that says I've sent one Ether to my other account. On the receiving account, you can see that this account has 1.87 Ether. This is because I've tested Tornado Cash twice and each time it sent me around 0.9 Ether. If you look at the last transaction, you'll see that I received 0.97 ETH. And if I click on the address of the sender, you can see some list of transactions, but none of these will link back to my sender account. So that's how you use Tornado Cash to break the link between the sender and the receiver and preserve your privacy. In the next video, I'm going to explain how Tornado Cash works at the technical level. I'll see you in the next video.